Sassy T from the AO3. I am here with a quick video. Look at rough, yeah. It's been a rough morning already. But anyway, y'all, I want to come on here and talk to you about the blogger striking other bloggers, okay? He's a blog. Point blank period. You're not a you're not Andy Cohen, and you know who I'm talking about, CK. So all things on this channel is alleged in my opinion. It is for learning, teaching, entertainment purposes only. In my opinion, learning, teaching, and entertainment purposes only. Okay? Carlos King, Crunch, Captain Crunch, the jealous, misogynistic, you know, gay guy. And I don't have anything against gay people. But this one right here is jealous. He's the second coleslaw. Um, he won't male, he won't male hus ex husband, and he won't smells like. This is just the way I look at it. And now on top on not on on that, I believe the network is tearing his ass up. Okay? I believe the network is coming down on Carlos and now he's mad because, you know, people are just calling him the blogger because that's who he is. He's just a blogger. Just like us. We made your show. We can take that show, okay? Um, because you're too busy worrying about other people's shows, trying to get over that Bravo. And your own network is telling you, you need to worry about this show. You need to worry about Martel Hope, the one that's out here, you know, got all these criminal charges. You might, you need to worry about these guys. Why are they in so much financial debt? Why are they in a $5.5 million lawsuit? You think the uh, network is just letting this fly by? Now nah, they coming down on Carlos, and Carlos is mad, and he coming down on us. Carlos, you just mad because when we showed up at the um, podcast, Millimeter showed up, showed out, okay? He showed up. So, Carlos, um, he's mad. Um, the network is coming down on him. So, he decides he wants to go after all the content creators because guess what? That's what he is. He's a content creator. He's no more than a glorified blogger, okay? Um, and you're scared that all this heat is going to come down on you, knowing about the revenge peak, knowing about how Martel has been showing out on the staff. You knew all about this. And, you know, you had an opportunity to correct this, but guess what you didn't? You didn't do it. And now, everybody's coming down on you. I didn't know this was going on. I didn't know you felt this way. You knew exactly what was going on, and you knew how Mel felt. So the lies you tell, well, you know, it, it, it's unbelievable to me. Just like you didn't know how they was treating Mel, you knew exactly how they was treating Mel. Just like you don't know about the $5.5 million lawsuit with the Scots, and you know about the $5.5 million lawsuit. The thing about you, Mark, um, Carlos or Captain Crunch or CK, um, you can never sit at the table with the metal meters and the mellow aunties, because I'm a mellow auntie, honey. You can't compare where you don't compete, okay? There's no comparison with the rain jobs. They don't have nothing but a, a vaporized drizzle, okay? A vaporized drizzle, all right? That's all it is. We might feel a little mist, but then that's it. But with the meters, we come, when we hit, we put holes in the ground and it's showing because you're coming after us. Just little bloggers trying to mess with our livelihood. Now, not mine, but you're trying to mess with other people's livelihood. And you going against the machine that's predominantly is not for you. Um, because every time we're going to strike back like the Empire Strike Back, okay? So you can take your little strikes. And I call it pathetic that a so-called producer would take time out his day to strike bloggers? Really? That's very petty. <laughs> that is very juvenile. I don't see Andy Cohen striking channels. Hmm. 
I guess he's just a little bit more mature when it comes to production. And for you to say, you don't care about what people say about you. Seems to care pretty much to me. You are your striking channels. Mm. I guess we do have a bigger impact. Thank you, sweet tea. Thank you, Simone. Thank you, Dr. Heavenly. For, and, and, and Mariah, you, because you know I like Mariah. I love Mariah. But thank you for calling him out on his bias. Thank you, Mariah, for saying, now, you said the show wasn't the same, you know, everybody Miss Mariah, but you turn around for the other girl and say, you know, the show ain't the same. You, you a double-tongued, civil-tongued uh, demon. That's what you are. Um, you talk out the side of your neck and you forget what you say. You just talk too much. And yet, you say it doesn't bother you what other people say about you. But yet, again... You take time out your so-called busy schedule to strike blockers. Really call us. Mm. That's me now. You must not be busy at all, bro. Sound like somebody in trouble to me. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.